Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Beeball Joe and this is Transom World Arosa Line. Uh, thanks for DevTech Games for providing me a key. I played around with it today for a little bit and I thought I'd show you something that I haven't seen anywhere else before, which is the log delivery. Yes, there's not just passenger services on this line. And earlier I did go up the, the hill a little faster than I was supposed to, so I want to see how fast I can get this done. I hope that all works. So this is the 44, the GE44. It is a little different than most of the other trains that I've played in Trains on World, but it, it makes enough sense um, <laughs> once you play with it. It tells you a couple things that you have to do. Uh, vacuum brake, yes, of course. Gotta release that. Got three different brakes. You have the local brake, the vacuum brake, the driving turn thingy over here. And yeah, it's it's everything is a little different. Hey, let's let's turn on some lights. Um, the rearview mirror. Yep, can't see much, but that's okay. Um, you don't want to play. Let's get some lights on, game. Just get it get it together. And here we go. Turn the wheel, and it just goes. It's great. Here's our train. Um, parts. The line is a lot prettier in the mountains than it is down in the city. This is literally the end of the line. There's nothing else back there. So don't worry too much about what you see here. It's more up in the mountains. I played with snow earlier. Honestly, it was just a lot of white. And I want to see how it looks without the snow. So here we are. I hope I don't have to set any switches. But we should be fine. Um, you are saying we can go like 28. This makes me think it's a 28. So let's go there. Three and a half is probably too much. Okay, where are my logs? Where are my logs at? It does drive a little very different. The characteristics are very different than what I'm used to from the other trains, so that kind of is nice, gotta say. Um, I see the logs. It looks like you're on the opposite side. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna go in front of the logs and then hook up to them. That makes sense. Perfect. Why is it getting dark? That part I don't currently understand. You want me to stop and there's the, the switch that we're going to take. That's great. Set the driving wheels off. I can turn this to the left. There's one brake. It's the dynamic brake as far as I understand. And then we have the local brake up here, which I've been using earlier. And it seems to work just fine. Yeah, I'm overshooting. Not at all. I thought I was overshooting there. But I'm obviously doing exactly what I wanted to do. Um, reverse. Re reverse. Reverse. Some of these controls are a little funky if you play with a mouse, so um, don't worry about that part too much. Proceed at restricted speed, yes. So these, these switches are sometimes a little funky, sometimes I have to call in, sometimes I don't. I'm just gonna use the dispatcher pretty much every time now. Um, this is one of those trains, well, it's a European train, so it doesn't just connect like the American one, so you can't just bump into the cars and hope that um, everything is where it needs to be. So we have to get onto the cars and then stop right next to the car so we can actually hook them up. Which, that, that's fine with me. Give you a little more. And it's actually pretty nice when you hit the, or when you turn on the... The wheel, it doesn't react right away, especially if you had some brakes before. Just a nice different behavior. Where are we? We're still way too far away, buddy. A little more, until we bump. That's a bump. Um, <laughs> that, that didn't work quite the way I wanted this. That should be good. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Let's turn off the wheel. Get out of the seat. Get hooked up. Um, there we go. Thank you. Everything looks connected. And now we come to a part that doesn't make perfect sense to me all the time. Get this one in here. Let's get this one going. Um, and... Go be a location. Yes, of course. Four and a half kilometers. Um, forward that one. That's the brake. 
proceed at speed. Cool. Turn off the brakes. Um, we can go, yeah, we can go about 20. That's perfect. And there we go. No, I'm not going to follow the speed limit the whole time. No, I, I tried that earlier. To go up the mountain just takes forever if we do that. So we're going to go about 60. Um, that was a goable speed or doable speed. And for five kilometers, which was supposed to take about half an hour, it took a little more than 10 minutes. So that was, that was a lot neater. But we're going for the city. There is one station coming up just after the next turn. Um, but first we have to honk because we're crossing here. There's a roundabout, but just for cars. That... <laughs> I wouldn't call that a horn, but that's fine. But yeah, here we are. Um, lots of switches. You can click the train lights. Obviously we need them on fan speed. Definitely need a strong fan speed. You have the doors to release if you really want to. Um, I have a couple a couple other controls down here. But we, we we also don't need those. Compressor's automatic. Um, what else do we have? There's the key, there's the switch. Here, the vacuum pump. They haven't told me what the vacuum pump is for. But we have a sander when we need it. So no problems here. We're getting to the area that we want to go to. So that's great. What else is here? Oh, lights. Yes, that's all perfect. Um, here is the first station that we would go by um, if we were a passenger train, but I just want to get up the mountain and show you the rest of the route as fast as I can. And we're going to get out of the city here pretty soon. And again, I know that going up the mountain with passenger cars, 60 was doable. So that's what we're going to try today. want to get up there as fast as possible. And then I'm assuming we have to uncouple the cars and do some other stuff with that, but for right now... Um, I think it's green light all the way, all the way up the mountain where the only, only service going here, so that is what's happening. It does look very different when it's not snowing. Um, and honestly, maybe snowing does look a little nicer, I'm not gonna lie. Or not snowing, but when there's snow on the ground at least. But it is what it is now, I think that's totally... Totally fine. And why does it say gas station simulator in my thing? Let's fix that. I'm, I'm just realizing that that's that's just not right. That's the wrong. That's the wrong name. I thought I fixed everything, but obviously I didn't. There you go. That should be better. Now people should actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, if you looked at the thumbnail, it was obviously saying what we were doing, but it wasn't really uh, quite obvious for me, I think. This should be better. Okay. Let's get up to speed, and we either are going to um, derail, or we're going to make it up the mountain really, really fast. Oh yeah, we're going to speed up. This is a nice little workhorse, if you play any of the other train simulation games, uh, maybe Transport Fever or similar. This is one of my favorite trains to run on, so I'm happy that we have that here. Available here to play with. 43, 42, yep. Looks like we're a little heavier than we usually are, but we only have four cars. I do wonder if anyone can actually tell me that in the comments or wherever, um, if this is a normal like a run that this train actually has to do going up the mountain with some cargo maybe logs because it feels like the cargo would go downhill not uphill but that's the alps the alps go up and down so maybe this makes sense hard to say for sure but yeah we are at 55 and now we are getting to the mountainous part and I think our steepest grade is 6%, which, as far as I know, most trains are not equipped to go up a, a mountain at 6% grade, so this is somewhat of a special train. Not 6.5, just 6. 
Again, I know 59, 60 kilometers per hour is working and I don't want to make you wait that long to get up the hill. So here we are. Let's try something. There we go, that's better. Yeah, run up that hill. We're only going by our location, so let's see how far we actually have to go. We're going up to here. And there's a train waiting for us. Perfect. And then I'm not sure how far we have to go. And I do hope that the next signal right after this will be green, which right now it is. So I'm assuming it will be when we get to that point. What else do we have to say? Um, the the train goes both ways, so it has a um, has a locomotive locomotive seat or an engineer seat on both sides. That's helpful. But you can't actually go anywhere in here, which I'm not quite understanding why. Because I felt like there should be a way to get in between here, but obviously there's some some part of the engine room, and I'm sure it's important. And I shouldn't do a lot of things. Lebensgefahr nur bei Geerdet im Fahrzeug öffnen. Okay, has to be grounded. Makes sense, it's an electric train, so don't touch stuff when you're not grounded. Um, yeah, the train essentially drives itself. Let's see, can we get some nice... Oh, I can't, I can't press the buttons unless I'm sitting in the chairs. There's our train, doing the train thing. Um, it's running away. Come back here. There is currently no tunnel ahead of us there's one coming right there do yeah this is good this is better beautiful shot just for you guys they really need those logs i just realized it's only two cars it's not four cars it just has four loading areas so i guess i was wrong there only a two two and a half percent grade at this point so, yeah, we're just speeding up the hill. How fast can we go? How fast can we finish this one task? Um, the timer is at 13 minutes now. Let's count that. I know that it didn't start right at zero, but I think it started within two minutes. But that's okay. Thir now it's 14 minutes. So, yeah. I'm aiming for less than half an hour. That's my goal. <laughs> that is my goal. Honestly, I'm not sure I know what happens or what comes after the station that we're supposed to go for right now. So that could be interesting. Hello, how's it going? Um, oh no, I, I made it up to Lyon Castile Platform 2. That's the tutorial that makes you go through there. And then I'm not sure where we're going after that point. seen a big pink thing behind me on my screen I was just like what is that it's one of those bouncy chair chairs cool cool no problems no problems at all um, yeah we're just snaking up the hill yeah I may do this again yeah, with snow on it does look different but honestly, this is this is not bad either because really just, just drive the train, do the things, do the things it likes to do, which means go fast up a hill. <laughs> At this point, I haven't actually tried to go downhill with this train, so that will be something that I need to do at some point, obviously. Otherwise, we're just missing out. But this train actually is pretty fun to drive. I'm I'm not gonna lie, that's. It's very different. It has m much more simplified controls, but it has three different brake systems. I'm sure, I, I think most of the other trains at least have two. So I'm not sure if that's so special, but the way they're set up makes a lot more sense. To me. To me, at least. I still don't know what this vacuum pump is. I'm sure it has something to do with the vacuum brakes, but I'm not sure what exactly that is. 
So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, and this train does slow down really, really fast. So I don't know if I've mentioned, but we are in Switzerland, which means all these mountains are the Swiss Alps, because in Switzerland. Um, Central Europe, Switzerland is home of really, really yummy chocolate and a lot of money. Um, they like to bank, they know how to bank, they know their stuff, and they are relatively neutral to everyone. So if you do want to hang out, I'm sure they would welcome you. I personally actually have never made it to Switzerland. I drove through Switzerland a couple times, but I never was in Switzerland at any point in my life, and I actually need to need to catch up on that. Because it is a very pretty country. Very pretty. No, I don't think this video game makes it gives it justice, but um, for the train, that part is nice. That part is working. Um, uh-oh, 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 heartbreak, heartbreak, harder, 300 meters, no way, no way we're gonna make that. <laughs> How did I miss that? Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't think we are gonna make it through this. Um, it was green and now it's red. Can you unread it again? <laughs> I can't. Did you see how fast that thing stopped? This is awesome. I did not think that was a thing that would happen. All right, let's unfinangle the brakes. All the brake systems, they all work beautifully. Give me a one. There we go. And just moves. It's just like, oh, you have, you have a bunch of stuff on the back? That's fine. Um, 60 some meters. I feel like we're gonna have to wait for a train here. So, that signal does not look red to me, but I don't believe myself. So, slow that down. Do this. Proceed at restricted speed. That's what I want to see. Um, but restricted speed is relative, so we're just gonna go. It said proceed at re restricted speed, so... There we go. That's the signal that I want to see. Green. Beautiful. I wonder if that sign over there is the actual signal that I was looking at first. So three and a half kilometers to the next signal, which is after our next waypoint, which is a stop at location. Perfect. So let's go back up to speed. Can't see anything. <laughs> Too dark. And we're not allowed to go out in the tunnel anymore to see anything else, so... That's a little sad, but that's okay. Keep on going, please. A little more, a little more, just a little more. That's a long tunnel. Yeah, I imagine going going through all these tunnels in this whole mountain range at restricted speed is 33 kilometers no we're doing double that because we can't because we are a big train and we know what we're doing I have to triple check now I thought we had three cars on there uh, no it's, it's two cars it's definitely two cars Obviously, with single track, there's not going to be any of our train coming across us. So, that's not going to happen. But that's okay. Thank you, train. Originally, I was planning to grab a train, go up the hill as fast as I could, and then um, do the run around, which is just putting the train to the other side again, which is not as straightforward as you might think, because apparently, when they built this, the switches were placed in a way that the current cars plus the train don't exactly fit in between. So you have to push it pretty tightly to the first switch, then run around and push it from that switch to the other side, 
also pretty tightly so you fit it in and then you can start going again. Um, that may sound confusing, but it's not as easy as you think. And if I want to do going up the hill, run around, switch and going down the hill, um, it's kind of important that I don't mess up somewhere in the middle there. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make that tonight. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that tonight. So here we are, running up the logs. That's a nice turn. There we go. And get out again. Pretty set up. Doesn't remind me at all of the American setups because the American um, rail systems are a lot longer, bigger, less grades, definitely mostly, mostly not electric, so there's nothing resembling anything American here. I don't know why I was thinking about that. Probably because the exact opposite of what the most American routes look like. Okay, we're getting close to where we want to go. Let's stop giving juice. We are at a 6% grade, so... There's a red signal coming up in a place where I'm not really expecting it, because I thought the red signal is going to be after where we are going. Can we talk to you? Wait for a signal to change. All right. We'll just go to the next signal and see what happens. Yeah, sometimes I do pay attention to the signals, and then I don't run through them uh, millionilly. Millionilly? Villainilly? Eh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, 300 meters. I hope this is a siding. Because if not, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Go at speed limit, 200 meters. You can't see where you're going either, I mean... That, that's pretty clear to everyone, I'm sure. 100... Uh, you may have noticed that already, but the numbers that you see here, you can just multiply by 10, and that is the kilometers per hour that you can achieve with this train at that point. Can we get a signal now? Nope. Wait for signal to change. I hope all the time that I just made up, we're not going to lose because there's a signal here. Oh, that 6% grade is just dragging you down. Get up to the signal. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Let's not overshoot and not roll backwards. Um, stop rolling backwards. <laughs> That's what I did want to do. Not emergency. That's okay. No, I, I didn't want emergency. I just wanted full service. Thank you. Wait, what's it? What? What am I waiting on? There's a train right there. There's no way the signal's ever going to change, because I'm sure that train was probably supposed to... Where, where are we? Meet me here? That's my guess. But it made it to this spot, and you're on the wrong side. I may have broken this scenario. I don't think I can finish that. Just because I went up the hill too fast. Yeah, this one definitely slid in after I left the last siding. And now I'm not allowed to go there. So what I probably can try... Is get out and make that train move. But that would mean I have to stop this scenario. I don't think that's going to work. Let's see. Hello, signal? Yep. 300 meters. And we walked that far. <laughs> Sorry, no train right now. I can't even. I can't believe that's happening. No, I can't. I mean, trains run on a schedule. We only have one track to run. And for some reason, I have to take the left platform, not the right platform, from my point of view. So... Yeah, that's not helping. 
Yeah, I would like to get up to here, but then I have to go into here. And there's a train sitting there right now. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I want to go right there. So the other way to get there is go around everything, but I don't think I'm allowed because all the signals are red at this point. So let's see what this train is telling me. <laughs> Alright. Excuse me, sir. Bob. Bob, where are you going? Bob, can I sit here? Can drive service. You don't have permission to drive to... But, 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 but please? Pretty please? <laughs> go that way. Bob, go, go. Why can I do the reverse about nothing else? <laughs> um, yeah, you're sitting in the dark here, buddy. Can I turn you off? Nope. Uh, what's it say there? Fahren. Eine Stunde downtown. 650 A. Ah, 3 Minuten 950 A. Ah, bremsen dauernd. 558. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. Ooh. Wait. Can I? Yes. Okay. I know you want to. Yeah. Can you... It's set up correctly, it's just not moving. <laughs> I can't. I don't think I can do this unless I go backwards. And we're not gonna do that. Mm. No? No, so, Bob. Is it Bob? Oh, yes, it's Bob. Definitely Bob. Um... I, I can't. I can't even. I, the only chance I have is to run the red signal. But that, I, I know how that's going to end. It's not going to be happy about that. It's going to be like, B-Ball Joe? No. Go back to your last checkpoint. Which I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want to. I want to finish this now. Dimmer? Ooh. <laughs> to, I got points for using your dimmer, Bob. That's cool. What's this one? Nothing. What's this one? Acknowledge. Um, the funk. We need the funk. Nope. Oh. Oh. This is why you're not running. Okay, so... Nope. Stop it. I don't think I can actually move this train. But I am going to try... To see if I'm wrong. Reverser. Oh, come on. Let me... Oh, you can't because now... This is not... At off. So, turn you to off. Good. Reverser. Neutral. Pantograph. Up. Okay. Reverser. Backwards. Go. I don't think we're moving. <laughs> this, is, this is terrible. This is your lights aren't on, buddy. You can't do that. Need some lights. That's a three train lights. Definitely on. Why can I use all of these, but we cannot... Fan speed, strong. Yeah, definitely. Um, lock the doors. Lock them. Lock. <laughs> I'm really sad. I, I, I can't actually do the thing. I can't finish this story. This scenario. Um, can't say I didn't try. Hello, window. Can't say I did not try. Yeah, you bing bing. You're point okay, so you're pointing the other way now. That was a manual junction. Interesting. What wasn't that one? What's this one? Oh and I would back up to here? That may be enough room for me to get on there. Maybe it will let me do the thing now. But I tried it. 
And that's what counts. Um, if this was recording and not live, you would see this as a jump. But um, it's not a, it's not a recording. And my train is right over there. Just down the track. <laughs> just a little more. Just a little bit extra. There's a train. Yes. He's still running. He didn't run away. Um, only has a door on one side. Perfect. Climb up these steps. It won't change. There's a train there. But you wouldn't understand. Um, it's released. Cool. Go to the slowest speed, which is 5 miles per hour. I've seen the colonel do this once. Essentially rolling by a signal. I don't think it's going to work this case. in this case. But that would also mean... No, it's, it's just really slow. So go at 5. Go. And just have to turn this off once we get to that point. This is going to make me fail it. I... I'm pretty sure about that. I, I don't think there's any doubt about it. But, there's nothing else I can try at this point. Let me through. But, switches are set up exactly like I need them to. And... Off. <laughs> Can't even. Um, stop rolling. Stop rolling. <laughs> Oh. Alright, driving control wheel. Thank you. Braking. Brake. Good. Release that. Go at like... Sure, two is fine. I don't think we even have enough momentum to go through the signal, but... Again, I gotta try everything I can, because I actually wanted to finish this really fast, but it appears to do this, I have to make it my own scenario. There we go. Kind of assumed that would happen. What's my last checkpoint? No, there's not going to be a last checkpoint. I wish this would have worked, because it would have been a record, but um, maybe you can trick the system by being faster than the second train that's going to wait at that um, at that station. If you can, maybe let me know, um, and let me know your time, and let me know how fast you had to go up the hill to make this work. But for right now, that's really all I have, so thanks for whoever watched this. I um, really appreciate it. Have a good night. Bye.